Hi, it's Jeff. And Denise from MouseDebs.com. And this is episode number 497. 497. Of Mouse Steps Weekly. Sponsored by MEI Travel and Mouse Fan Travel. Well, we're talking a lot about the Disneyland Hotel today at Disneyland Paris. That's not all we're talking about. But it's some place that I'm really looking forward to. We're going to be staying there in a few weeks. And uh, MEI and Mouse Fan Travel can book that for you in a package, which is which is the way most guests go. I mean, even for us... We couldn't have just done, uh, we could have done room only, but it would have been the same price right. as having that package. Mm-hmm. So, um, but it's something to, if you want to go to Disneyland Paris, I recommend heading to MEI Mouse Fan Travel or anywhere else you want to go. So you mentioned the Disneyland Hotel at Disneyland Paris. We're going to talk all about that first on this first segment. And I'm really, again, we're we're planning to be there in uh, for the opening. And that is on January 25th after being royally reimagined. And it is a five-star hotel. We have shown this picture before. Mickey and Minnie might not end up being... It was concept art only, even though Disneyland Paris still shows it. Mm-hmm. It is possible that Mickey and Minnie will only be in the uh, in the restaurant. But we'll see when we'll we're there. We'll find out very yes. soon. And this is another picture, which is very similar, except without any of the characters in it. Um, we are going to be seeing uh, La Troupe Royal Disney... Uh, which will offer surprise theatrical performances and sometimes Disney characters. And we're already looking at the deluxe room, which is what we have booked, which also is is club level, but not castle club level. I see that is a must be a Moana room. And it's very interesting. You notice this when you look up, you can sort of see a Disneyland Paris uh, logo when you're in bed looking up. Kind of a well, it's more of a, it was like a Cinderella coach. Oh, is what oh it I looked see. Like. I yes. see. Yeah, Cinderella. I have to zoom in on that. Very so, interesting. So we'll see that. And I, I didn't even mention about the Bohemian glass chandelier in the lobby. We're going to show that. I, oh, okay. I have well, we added will be that seeing picture it. Oh, very into this good. goodness. Um, this is the Castle Club, which is like an exclusive hotel within a hotel, and there you can see Sleeping Beauty Castle. Like when we have our club level type of room. That will be more of a... Um, Fantasia fan- Gardens. Yeah, right. They would say Fantasia Gardens. <laughs> so, um, and we're looking at here the Superior Room, which I don't think Disneyland Paris knows what Superior means, because every <laughs> time I say it should be like Superior. And I believe, I didn't realize you were putting in the suites, but there are uh, a variety of different suites, 16 signature suites. This and looks like uh, the, Beauty and the Beast, yes, and I added is. this because I really love the look of this uh, wardrobe right mm-hmm. here. Very nice. And I think I read that that goes to a restroom, but I ha- I've only seen the picture and no ex- explanation about I'm it. I'm very curious. Hopefully we I get am. a tour because I'd love to see all the various rooms and things. I would love a tour as well. And here is that Castle Club again, but with uh, with Cinderella because during breakfast they do have characters. And again, we're in a different type of a club. Uh, level not castle club so we do not get the characters well we are our own characters yes we are (laughs) uh, we'll see what happens plus we'll be meeting characters in the dining options Uh, yes at la table de lumiere which is fine dining uh in a setting paying homage to beauty and the beast and inspired by the versailles uh hall of mirrors and there it is as well you can see very elegant uh, beast back there the menus are online now very fancy food. It will be very interesting to see um, how it how everything looks in person, um, and also some really lovely desserts. And there is one of those items, and I believe that's the beef uh, roast Mont Mont Belliard, I believe beef with potato ribbons. Sweet onion cream and Merlot Oju, maybe. Somehow we'll I have see. a feeling we're going to try these items. Well, we're going to try some items. That looks like a, a salmon dish. So obviously, a very upscale uh, dining and uh, de- different than the Royal Banquet, which we'll also be talking about. I wonder what the Coke situation is in there. You don't, you have to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is uh, 120 euros plus all drinks, you know, anything you want to order. Quite a nice dessert there. It is, and that looks almost like a, a children's dessert, but I'm not sure. And we are, here is uh, the Royal Banquet. You have Mickey and Minnie, but you also have friends of theirs who all in uh, special outfits for the hotel, uh, royal themed. It's like a gallery, you know, a gallery of paintings here and a buffet, which costs uh, for adults 100 euros. Um, I see some uh, head on shrimp back there. It, you know, Disneyland Paris is well known for head on shrimp. And this is the former location of uh, Inventions. Yes, which we always enjoyed Inventions as a buffet. 
Um, and we also have a uh, Fleur de Lis, which is a is the bar and the most expensive That's drink item. That's where I made my little euros. reference for the nine dollar or nine euro uh, Coke. And well, I think the restaurants also have nine euro Coke, which is a good thing to be uh, in the deluxe lounge, so we can get Cokes included. <laughs> yes. So and there is the pool. Looks very nice. Right. That is uh, the Crystal Pool and Health Club, and they also have the Health Club has. Smart fitness equipment from Techno uh, Gym, the main pool, there's a main pool, hot tub, and a kid's paddling pool here. So it'll be interesting to see how different this looks from uh, when we have been in there before. You know, after spending a night there, I think we're going to be wanting to bring back some uh, merchandise. Yes, and I'm going to get Kelly the plush because they've not shown the plush, but they say there's a plush. Um, and you just gave it away. I hope she's not listening. I've already talked to her oh, about it. Okay, I told her okay. I'm not sending her anything for Christmas. I'm getting her the plush. I see. Okay. And uh, my royal dream. We're walking, going very fast. Well, you said 15 <laughs> yes. seconds. I know. I probably should have done longer. We're going to do this with you, by the way. No, Denise. no, we're not. But for they, the sake of the show, we as, need to. As an adult, you could book my, my royal dream. <laughs> but just for part of it here, you can see the royal beauty. Oh, I take it back. That can be for adults or kids. <laughs> the royal makeover is only for kids. And right now, the royal makeover signature not available yet. Uh, and also just for children. So they don't have costumes for adults. And that's why. And there is the uh, chandelier you had mentioned earlier on in the show. Right. That's um, Bohemian Crystal from the Czech Republic. Uh, somebody there, you know, craftsman created it and it looks amazing. So let's wrap it up. What else ha have we to say about this? It'll yeah. be very soon. You know, Probably episode 500 when we talk about it. It seems like it's, it's kind of meant to be. You know, I, and I, that's what I'm hoping. And... I talk sometimes about how I slept in Cinderella Castle, and I think this is as close to sleeping in Cinderella Castle, you know, having this royal experience as you can get with Disney. And I love that, like, um, the Disneyland Paris hotels are, like, the art of Marvel is all Marvel. It's just Marvel. Mm -hmm. And I love that this is all uh, a princess theme. If you're going to have a theme, you should really lean into that one theme and not just princess but royal themed and i'm looking forward also to our room with the the deluxe room having an extra touch of magic is what they say and it almost sounds like when you're on the disney dream and you stand in front of those uh pictures and they move they like kind it, of come to life like it almost sounds like that so we'll see if that's how it is and something is you know above the bed also that like the touch of magic i'm really looking forward to that and of course the dining and the entertainment you there's know? so much new it's all new and we're gonna have like a whole show like probably a long show just talking about everything um that we experience with the disneyland hotel and now back to florida we're gonna do some uh Odds and ends, we're going to wrap up the Christmas season. First, we're going to talk about our second Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. It was uh, very late in the season for us, and it was, a sold, as you can see, a sold-out party. We did a different area for the wristband distribution. The first party, we waited outside and we got right in. This time, we went and uh, tried it over here by Tomorrowland. And I do like these uh, these wristbands here the made out of fabric. I... I'm not a big fan of the fabric really? ones. Really? Not you prefer really. the, the old style, the plastic? Yeah, I do. I prefer the old style. I mean, not, neither of them is great, but I mm -hmm. prefer the old one. So um, anyway, we're, we're talking about some of the characters that we met, which um, is different from the first party. Like Donald, well, Scrooge was not there, right? Right. Scrooge was uh, off tending to his business, we and were told. And Minnie and Daisy. So we ended up with three characters instead of four um, I don't think we waited too long on this No, night. it wasn't too bad. We did it uh, first. We stuttered mm -hmm. off. We kicked off our night here, so we didn't have too long of a wait. Once the They actually let the line start a bit early, which was mm -hmm. unusual. And here is Daisy, and here is Minnie. And they were very happy to pose and uh, do, a, at one point, a double spin for us. And these uh, the characters do not meet right now during... Uh, you know, the daytime. Like right now you have daytime holidays, mm -hmm. but these are uh, specific to the party. And these are the same outfits that we're normally uh, used to seeing them in during Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. It was very interesting as opposed to a, an early party to go to a very late party mm -hmm. in the season. It's something that we've never, I don't think we've ever done in all these years Not that we've attended this we together. Did. It, it's a very different uh, atmosphere and a different crowd, a lot more tourists. Like, 
as opposed to locals who go at the beginning, pass holders at the beginning and such. And now we're seeing Donald, and I did make reference to uh, to his uncle, Uncle Scrooge. That's why he was doing that mm. kind of uh, money thing. But again, he was telling me that, well, he had a translator mm. telling me that Scrooge was off making money, of course. Of course. Tending and, to his fortune. And the line here can get very long. So we were fortunate, we, you know, we got there and... Uh, like during the party, it can get long. Right. So we're going to say goodbye to uh, the number one duck here and move on. I, I'm trying to remember what uh, <laughs> what the next... Uh, oh, yes. The haunt... Now, I found this was very interesting. The Haunted Mansion had special lighting, special holiday lighting. And this would be the first time that we had seen the, the uh, hat brand new Hatbox ghost. ghost. So we're going to show a little bit of that. But kind of like the Halloween party, I thought it was nice how they had the special lighting for Christmas on the mansion. We were on the Disney Cruise Line uh, when the Hatbox Ghost came out, I That's believe. right. That is correct. Uh, and so this was really nice. Like the lighting, I think this is the nicest lighting I remember for the Haunted Mansion. Oh, and I see the Hatbox Ghost. But he is not in holiday colors. <laughs> yeah, I, that would be very interesting to he see him. He could have like a little Santa hat or something. <laughs> Too bad. They should. I would love that. <laughs> Sa Santa. No, no, no. It would be Hatbox Holiday. Mm. You can call it. I, I I love the the Nightmare Before Christmas, the Haunted Mansion Holiday in Disneyland uh, Park. So we're just looking at some official B-roll. I think the uh, Hatbox Ghost looks very good. I know there's some controversy over his uh, location, but uh, I don't care it's where different. he is. Yeah, it's different here. It's uh, it's Walt Disney World, and and I think he does he does look great. I have enough things to be irritated about sometimes, not, and not that many really. But you know, like where the Hatbox Ghost is to me is. Um, you know, neither here nor there. Okay, so let's get back to uh, Christmas. We're going to take a look at some of the uh, the treats that we tried first in the uh, Harbor House here. And uh, right, so they have a variety of different uh, different treats, different cookies. I, I remember, like a number of years ago, about four years ago, uh, they had like really unique offering so now like it's slush they had right. a slush and a hot pretzel yeah so now is it's just the cookies and uh they also have good i think they were like gluten-free cookies which oh, are very are tasty oh yeah we still have uh, one or two of those yes and um and then sometimes you can get hot cocoa or eggnog and such and here we are we are meeting stitch he is in his hawaiian outfit and this was the last of the characters that we met with the uh, with the autograph card. Yeah, that we had to complete our autograph card collection. We had to wait uh, quite a while to complete that collection, seeing we went to the first party, and and this was one of the the last ones. But Stitch was great as uh, as always. And you know, while we're watching this, like I feel like th this feels like two months ago or something to me. <laughs> like it feels like so long ago. You know, we've been so busy this season, and we've done so much. So. Um, it really, time means nothing at this point for the holidays. Right, and Christmas uh, Christmas has already come and gone, and we're about to celebrate uh, New Year's Eve. New Year's right. Eve is tomorrow, so it's, uh, it is amazing how quick the time goes. And But Stitch was great. You know, he, we've seen this out be, uh, outfit before, but not, not in a long time. Yeah, I think it has been a very long time. For Halloween, they had uh, Elvis Stitch, right. who was also very, very popular. Po very popular. This Stitch... You could get in a relatively short line. Elvis Stitch was a lot harder to get in a shorter line. And this uh, is that final card. I a, love all the new, cards. All the cards were all new for this year. So it was a nice little collectible. We have, mm -hmm. uh, we'll have to put them in a book or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. And now we're looking, we're over in Adventureland. You see nice projections over here at the Pirates of the Caribbean. So, you know, I think that... Uh, well, we mentioned Jollywood Nights. We mm -hmm. we've done both. I still think Very Merry is a is a better. Uh, oh, and we're looking at the Tomorrowland Speedway here. The only thing is a better party. The only thing that I really miss is a totally Tomorrowland Christmas, which I was very disappointed in. That's my favorite. You know, my favorite show. Although not Club, being here. Club Tinsel was more fun than I expected. It was cute, but it, I think if it, it they, was no. Uh, oh no, right. it's not the same. Uh, but anyway. Uh, the Tomorrowland Speedway is a very, very nicely done. Uh, they started doing it around, I don't know if it was 2019 or the so. The holiday overlay? Yeah, or the party, the overlay. I should say the party overlay. And I like to go also on the People Mover and look down and enjoy the music and go through Space Mountain and enjoy the music. You like, could see the People Mover was broke down yes, at the time. And, and we had tried to get on it and it didn't happen. But it's really great because like if you're on the People Mover, it's almost like a whole other ride overlay. But when you're on the Tomorrowland Speedway, 
we went on during, are we going to see fireworks, I believe right? we're going to see some fireworks, Like yes. we, you know, we watched fireworks, <laughs> you know, it was so fantastic. And uh, I don't like to be in big crowds for fireworks, so this is totally not a big crowd. It was it's, a wonderful, yeah. I mean, it was your second, suggestion. Because we've done it before, and I was like, well, there's no wait. There's going to be fireworks. Let's get on the Tomorrowland Speedway. Yeah, it's really special to to watch it from here. And it's kind of funny because at the end of the ride, usually the cars will pull in really fast. But because everybody is kind of watching the mm-hmm. fireworks, everyone's kind of, it's sort of like a last day in an attraction. Everyone, oh, oh, by all means, you go ahead. You go ahead. <laughs> it's the slowest you're going to ever return to uh, <laughs> to the beginning of the ride. And uh, yeah, I just, I recommend it, you know, if you're at Mickey's uh, Very Merry Christmas Party and you don't need to be on, if you don't need to be on Main Street to see the fireworks, head to the Tomorrowland Speedway. I think it's it's just a fantastic view. And over there you could see another ride that was uh, the, the Mad Tea Party also right. had the holiday twist. And I didn't do it this year. You didn't? didn't. No, I, I, I did. Parties. I did get to do it, uh, but I did it very quickly mm-hmm. during the uh, the first party, so... It was uh, it was something worth doing. Another fun thing with a with a twist, right. so to speak. And there is more fireworks. Um, really, just a, a fun a fun little thing. So do. speaking of fun things, this was probably your highlight of the entire this, event night. And I had wanted to do this. Uh, I had wanted to do this either the first night or previous previous in the evening. I was like, I want to go to Frontierland. I want to see the country bears before. Uh, before the uh, parade. And let's not forget the Reindeer Wranglers. Right, the Reindeer, the reindeer wranglers, wranglers. They provide the, They provide the music, and the Bears provide quite the fun entertainment, interactive entertainment. It was better than I expected, even. <laughs> I knew that it would be fun, but I thought, you know, like, like, and it's the one thing, I didn't remember Frontierland being so bright. Um, so it, it, because it wasn't, it used I to think be this dark. is, this is new. They've added much better lighting. I can, I can say this year, best lighting ever. You, we went to Liberty Square cause you, because you wanted to go there, Terrible but lighting. it was bad lighting. So if you you're wanting to it, photograph it's, it's it, darkness up there in right. Liberty Square, not but, good. But for photos, for video, just for enjoyment, this lighting was excellent so yeah, yeah, I was we're gonna we're that. gonna ruin our spot in the future mm. but right in front of the uh diamond horseshoe spectacular yes hopefully it'll be forgotten by next year and here they are running and <laughs> so uh we're not showing the actual fall because we don't want it all over the internet so uh but yeah shaker had a little fall but he's shaking he, it he, off he did shaker he, has is shaking it right off and and uh he's back in business yes and so uh, we have wendell and liver lips just having a, a good time and and getting the crowd um motivated to see the parade. everybody's motivated anyway but really really uh, ramping up the crowd i think yeah it was it was really a highlight and and, and i knew it would be good but i didn't think it would be as entertaining as it turned out to be. So this place, this area here actually ended up being a very nice place we for the were, parade. We weren't planning to watch the parade. We, I just wanted to see the country bears, but it's like, well, we already have our spots and we all both decided we were going to stay. Uh, it was an excellent location for the parade. And I was just showing how, how nice it, we're, we're just going to look at this first float, but uh, yeah, beautifully lit. Great, uh, great location. Better than Town Square to me. Yeah. Except no Except for Christmas no snow. tree. Right. And, and no and snow no, either. Right. Well, there's a Christmas tree right there. No, but I mean, no big Christmas tree. So now we're going to talk about Christmas Eve. We spent our first stop at Christmas Eve here at Port Orleans uh, French Quarter. We were picking up some beignets from my mother. Uh, I didn't realize that you could warm them up in the microwave. They warm up pretty good. And they so. had free beads, and they were handing out cookies. It was so uh, so nice, unexpected cookies little uh, from treat there. Mickey's very merry Christmas yeah, party. Probably probably uh, leftover cookies, but they were good. And, and there's those beignets. What a great way to start our uh, Christmas Eve. And, and my mother loved them. She loved getting beignets to the house the next day. And warmed it up immediately when I brought it. Looks like you're enjoying it uh, pretty good too. We had to test them out before we gave it to your mother. We got one each, but now we know, like we could split one and take the other two home, and even put probably put them in the freezer and and warm them up later. Tricircle D Ranch this year was amazing. This is at Fort Wilderness. uh, At Fort Wilderness, yes, we're here for the golf cart parade. And uh, the decorations here are unlike anything I remember them doing uh, previously. 
at Fort Wilderness. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, uh, they really are upping the game all around Fort Wilderness, actually, but especially here at the Tricircle D Ranch. And we're going to go in there and uh, and get a closer look at some of the decorations, including outside. And by the way, at night, even better, even Beautiful. more festive at yeah. night. Yeah, I really, uh, I'm glad that we came over here. I wish we had done been able to do so earlier, a little early in the season. We've just been so busy. Um, but look at how beautiful it is right here. It's like, I called it like a winter wonderland, mm -hmm. which, um, it, again, even more beautiful later. And the Calliope area, very nice. Plus playing Christmas music. I think it was like Santa Claus is coming to town or something. Yeah, that was a big surprise to me yeah. to see the, the hole inside where the, the Calliope is. Because I kind of thought that was just the static display and they, they wouldn't really touch anything. But no, they really uh, they did a great job with decorating it. And as you mentioned adding music as well. This was one of the the nicest surprises as far as holidays uh, during our, you know, during our holiday season at Walt Disney World. And do you remember seeing this actually in a parade or out on the streets of uh, the Magic Kingdom? I think I, I have do. some photos of it from a long time ago, but it, not recently. I, I mean, it's not that often that it comes out. Yeah, I think the last time I saw it actually out and about was in the 90s, like the late late 90s, maybe, I thought on Main Street before a parade. I thought it's been after that. But I think it, was, it may have been out for one of the, um, what do they call it, uh, Oh boy! Special, just special times, you know. Limited time. It was oh. one of the limited time magics, right? Is what it was. And you can That's see the horses was. over there, and uh, we're looking at that. That I think it's from. Is it 1908? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I think Calliope. so. Calliope, and uh, really, and they show here where the Clive. Calliope was being used. It's been in some films and some TV shows. The, even the, the little display of all the various horses around Walt Disney World they have here. They've even made this Christmas plush as well. I thought it was I thought it was very nice. So we're about to uh, to move on to our next thing, which is we're getting ready for the Christmas or the holiday golf, golf cart, cart parade. parade, which is different. Th which was different this year in that they it didn't go through the most of the campground. They had it off kind of off the beaten path where the, compared they, to the, before right the same type of thing that happened for the halfway to halloween parade that they added last year it, it's like there were guests who were waiting in the normal spots so i hope everybody you know we try to let people know um but here is you can see the golf carts um it's a, a relatively small area that they were in this time because but it's, it's a, a smaller parade it, and i was just going to say that compared halloween's the biggest parade uh, the 4th of July is next, and then Christmas is, is the third one down. And you saw Santa in his sleigh. I mm -hmm. believe that was the winner of the is golf that what cart parade. I, well, I read it on one of my Facebook pages. Oh, okay. So that was very uh, very nice cart to start off the parade. We've seen lightning this uh, lightning in uh, other parades. This is a very nice cart as well. Looks like Santa's sleigh with, uh, with Mickey pulling it. And also it looks like a uh, homemade decoration there. Um, I wasn't sure. Like, there's, like, it's almost like donuts on top. I'm not sure if there's... It looked like a hundred. Maybe oh, it was oh, a, yes. a 100. But it almost looked like... And yes, for Disney 100. Right. But to me, they... I kept seeing donuts, maybe because we had had beignets. And what? Yeah. yeah. And, and this uh, this is very nice. Some gingerbread on wheels there. It, really, the, the campers at Fort Wilderness are so... Uh, uh, yeah, I like the, the Disney Cruise Line one. It's... And okay. they were playing the cruise line music too. And there's an up house. I was surprised the Disney Cruise Line one wasn't in the top uh, top several. three. Was yes, not in the top I, three. and that was probably my favorite of all. And there is Mater, so we've seen Lady McQueen, and we've seen Mater. And uh, we're looking. At, let's see another Christmas display. Oh, the one with the Nightmare Before Christmas is coming up with with it looks like a Jack Skellington uh, he, he following sort of, along. Yeah, he's sort of Mini like Mini Jacks actually. <laughs> he's sort of like uh, skiing or. Um, uh, skateboarding there. And we're going to end off the parade with the Grinch. What? A, and I'm wearing a Grinch shirt Me too. Right now. I have my Are Grinch shirt. Too? Yes, it's oh, underneath didn't, my... We didn't even plan that. No. So a very nice parade this year and we ended up going to Trails End for some uh, Christmas Eve dinner. And it's uh, Trails End is one of our favorite locations to go to. Now, I do not recommend getting those cowboy beans, though. They're they not as they good. They were not the original recipe. No, they're not as good as they used to be. It, they're not on the mobile order menu, but 
we got them, you know, because we've always like thought them. they were the ones with the right. burnt ends and all that. I don't that, recommend so, them. No. So but, everything else was great. Yes, though. the coleslaw, the um, mashed potatoes, and the chicken, very good, you know. And we had plenty of food to to go home and cornbread. You get a loaf of cornbread. They forgot the cornbread though, so but make but sure. no problem. Yeah, no, make sure oh, yeah. you look in the bag. But of course, uh, no problem to uh, to give us that cornbread. You know, you should have seen your eyes when you. When you heard there was no cornbread. I was like, what? Because that's my favorite thing in there. <laughs> like, I mean, no, you... the mashed potatoes are my favorite. And then the cornbread. And that's a pretty uh, pretty healthy size bread there it is. for just the we two of us. We still have a little on the table. It's almost oh, yeah, like a we week do. later. So I don't know if it's still good anymore. And later on in the night, you could have met, uh, you could have met Mr. Claus, Santa Claus there, meeting by the Christmas tree. The one thing we didn't do... We didn't spend any time walking around the loops, which is unheard of. We well, we up, had so much food we were carrying, and we, you had your laptop Not just that, also. I did have my laptop, so I had a heavy bag, but still, we came over here. Uh, this they had a little new. holiday this, Yeah, this happening. little area was this happening was new. They Chip had a Chip and Dale, they were taking pictures. I wish we had gone through a few loops, because that is... It's the first time like that I can remember not going through loops. Well, we'll, we'll make that up. We'll have to do that Definitely next... Well, it'll be next year. So uh, here is, yeah, we're in the campfire sing-along area. And this is, instead of the loops, this is where we were. You got to meet reindeer. Yeah, they're not real. And when I saw, like, <laughs> Mark post about them, I thought, are there real reindeer over there? Because we have seen real reindeer at other events, not at Walt Disney World. So, so that is about it. That was our Christmas Eve. We had a great Christmas, and we want to uh, thank our sponsor, MEI Travel and Mouse Fan Travel. Yes. Uh, head to their website. They... They're really big. Uh, they do a lot of cruises, not just Disney cruises. They're cruise specialists. They're Walt Disney World specialists, Disneyland specialists, Adventures by Disney specialists. They just did the river cruise, mm -hmm. uh, like Matt Germany, and yes. Lou, right? They just did the river uh, cruise in Europe. Um, they do, all, it, like Becky is on the move all the time. I think she's going to be here very soon. Um, Hopefully we'll see her very soon. Yes, that's the plan. Uh, but they can, you know, once you book with them, they can, you know, help guide you uh, through your trip. So I really recommend them. So we hope everybody had a safe and Merry Christmas and holiday season. We're getting ready tomorrow is a New Year's Eve. We're getting ready to ring in 2024. Lots to look forward to in 2024. I have no idea what we're going to talk about next week, although we are We have going... one segment already ready. Oh, do we? We do. What is it? What did we just do? I don't know. Our yearly dinner at Three Bridges. Oh, right, right. Slight new menu. It is. A, there's a little bit of a new menu there. So... But we'll, we'll, we'll have, we will also be going to Disney's Animal Kingdom by, before the next week's show. And I think we're going to the Magic Kingdom. We're going to go to the Boathouse. All sorts of things that we'll be able to talk about. Some Disney All springs. the food. Yeah. All the food. Better, better not be hungry next week. And I know that the Festival of the Arts, the Epcot Festival of the Arts booths are starting to go up. Mm -hmm. So that's something to also check into. Oh, yeah. We will do that as well. I can't believe it's just right around the corner now. But... It'll start, and then we're heading to, to Paris. So we want to wish everyone a happy new year and, uh, and a safe new year, and we look forward to another great year. We'll have our 500th show coming up. And, the plan uh, is for that to be the Disneyland Hotel. I think it's going to work out that yeah. way. So a lot to look forward to. Have a great week, and we'll see you all next week. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Have a great week.